Okay, so we're continuing with the uh, work on the trailer, the Norton trailer I bought. Uh, you might have watched the videos I did the other day uh, of uh, rubbing it down with a wire brush or the interior of the wire, with the wire brush. So I've moved on from that. I'm actually going to start painting. I'm going to do the inside. Uh, the outside is going to have to be another day, I think. But the inside, I'm going to do it. So I've got my lovely paint here. Now, this is pylon paint, as I explained in the first video. Some cans that were given to me by the guys who painted the pylon. I've got quite a lot of these cans and um, it's two coat vinyl primer. If you look at the, you can see when I got it, date of manufacture 21st November 2012. It's well past the expiry. That expiry was 21st November 2013. But I think if that was a pylon, it would matter. But on the farm situation, it's not going to matter. So um, you can see here, I've got, I've rubbed it down. I've pretty well rubbed, I've brushed out all the. Uh, rust and stuff like still look at my hands you got dust on them but uh it's pretty good now i'm ready for painting so i've got a, a coat of this and then i've got a coat of top coat to put on but let's let's have a look at what's in the tin i don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get this lid off i might actually go and get something else there we go so if we have a look in here you can see the top it's gone solid in the bottom Oh, look at that. It's like a stew. Look at that. It's got a funny colour when it's finished. So I really, I've got to give this a hell of a good stir to mix up the thinner with the... This is probably why it has an expiry date because this stuff separates out. But I'm sure I can get it back to good enough for what I'm doing. Incidentally, this bit of wood I'm using is a piece of wood from the rabbit hutch that I was dumped on the farm with all the... You might have seen the other video of the, of the stuff that was fly-tipped. I chopped up the rabbit hutch and mum's going to use it in the fire right let me just carry on with this a minute okay so i've been stirring this for a few minutes now and I'm, it's getting a lot better i've nearly done i think another couple of minutes stirring and uh, we'll start painting there we go that's good enough now oh quite thick stuff really i'm sure it'd be brilliant for this on here. let's just watch that drip down there we go I'll leave that there okay so huh, I got my brush problem with the brush is that I didn't get a good one um, it's the only brush I could find on the farm at the moment so this one will have to do not ideal but I think once I put it in there it'll probably put it all the bristles together it's okay because it's only a rough old trailer and I'll probably get some more brushes in the next day or so to do it properly but this one's gonna have to do for now but we can slap it on quick with that Okay, so, wish me luck, I'm off to do some brushing. Okay people, I'm going in. Get a good dollop on this, on there. As I said before, this brush isn't great, but it will cover a big area quite quickly. Look at that. Slap it on, slap it on, slap it on, slap it on. I quite like painting, it's quite therapeutic. If you've got a sort of day where you feel like, mm, I quite like just doing a bit of painting, just just sort of like, you haven't got to worry, especially a job like this, because it's, it's kind of, it doesn't matter if you make a mess, you know? It's not like I'm painting a Picasso, although I could probably put some splatters on here and get myself down as some sort of modern art. Maybe I should say this is a modern art installation and get a lottery fund on it. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. Get it on. Get it on.
Seems to be going quite well so far. It looks like I'm painting a battleship though with some sort of army camouflage. Or desert, desert camouflage for a tank. Okay, I'm on the last bit now on the uh, on the sides of the trailer. I'm going to do the floor in a minute. Um, I've got the battery warning light flashing on this camera, so at some point I am going to just—it's just going to die on me. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is quite relaxing. I tell you what, the fumes off this paint now. I'm just as well I'm doing it outside because if I was in a confined area, I'd be going high as a kite. That'd be some real funky farmer dancing then. Uh, all right, we'll have a look again when I've done the floor. Here we go, so I've done all the sides. Look at that, it's gone on pretty well, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm also glad this free paint's free, because I've used quite a lot, I've used three quarters of a can. So, uh, but it's, dry, it's drying really quickly, I think because um, basically it's quite a warm day, but you can see well, I'm probably two thirds of the way down a can. That'll probably do the floor. So it just shows how much paint you need. I'm glad I'm not buying this stuff. I reckon it would cost me a couple hundred quid in paint to do this trailer otherwise. Right, onwards. Loving this paint. I want to do this as a living though. I'd like quite like the idea of doing it occasionally, but not very often. Slap it on. Okay, so I'm on the very last bit now, and I've hardly got any paint left. Look. It's literally going to be one can does the whole inside of the trailer. So um, I think I've timed that quite well. Let's have a look when we've finished anyway. Crack on, crack on. That's it. I've finished. Flipping out, that was really well timed. The battery's going flat on here. The can of paint is empty. And it's lunchtime. So how about that? One can of paint's done the whole inside. Anyway, we're done on this for painting for today. I've got loads more wire brushing to do, loads more painting to do, top coat on, on the thing when I've finished. But that's it for now on the old Norton. Cheers.